Hey guys, welcome to the desk. Who has two thumbs and stress-induced ulcers due to the election? This guy. Anyway, here's Puncher. Here are your news stories. A big pile of eels was dumped in a New York City park, and it's still less unsettling than an outdoor comedy show. A rare white sea turtle was found on a South Carolina beach. Ah yes, a rare white, also known as a reasonable GOP senator. Florida officials say several people were charged in a flying squirrel trafficking operation. Unfortunately, their leader escaped. Disney's Bob Iger joins the board of a vegan dairy startup, so now the only act of cruelty he will be involved in is keeping It's a Small World open. A 200-pound tortoise is back home after escaping its Alabama pen. The family is happy to have their dinner, I mean pet, back. AP News wrote that Trump sees voting chaos that doesn't exist, that experts that's how you know the dexamethasone is working. On Wednesday, senators grilled Google, Facebook, and Twitter bosses, Mark Zuckerberg from his house, Sundar Pichai from his mansion, and Jack Dorsey from, I want to say, a cabin deep in the woods? CNN wrote how Jared Kushner deserves an Emmy and an Oscar for her best barely animated short. A Republican senator says she is not familiar with the Access Hollywood tape. Uh, can we, can we take a look at that senator? Checks out. The New York Times wrote about the policy advisors who have Joe Biden's ears not to be outdone, Fox News wrote about the White House staffer that has Trump's nose. RuPaul and Cory Booker find out they're cousins. I mean, it makes sense they did have to drag Cory Booker to the meeting. Not proud of myself. For the first time, DC is letting people vote for prison, said the guards to the Trump administration. See? It's not that bad. Trump and health advisors part ways on the virus. Trump said he'll see you in hell, and the health advisors said, what do you call this? A popular sports radio host was fired for racist comments, and he's going, going, gone. Trump said Minnesota capped rallies at 250 people because Biden couldn't draw flies. Listen, we can't all do it like Mike Pence. CNN clapped back at Christy Alley, who attacked them, saying, You are welcome to change the channel, which is, coincidentally, C-SPAN slogan. For The Desk, I'm Dan Lehman. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. I'll see you next week.